On this week's road trip and we're going to Muskingum County to visit a safari park. News 9's Ed DiOrio takes us a, there and gives us a look at the lodging options at the wilds. With as much space as the wilds occupies, it may take a few days to see all that they have to offer. That is why there are lodging options with more to come. When folks travel out here, we're, we're kind of in a remote area, so when you get out here, you want to stay a few days. And uh, the lodging options that we have allow people to do that. Between Nomad Ridge, the lodge, the cabins at Straker Lake, and the outpost, there's plenty of room to stay at the wild. Whether it's a couple or a group of 12, everyone gets the full wilds experience. You're, you're getting to see the, the full 24 hour cycle of animals, you know, when they wake up first thing in the morning to uh, what they're doing at night. You'll, you'll hear some of our, our Pear David deer vocalizing down by the lake. Um, and so you'll, you'll just, you'll get to experience things that you're just not gonna get during a, a quick two hour tour. And the options are about to expand. The U.S. Department of Commerce awarding the Wilds $2.2 million to build an RV park in the north side of the property. It's just a game changer for us. It, it's going to really expand the number of overnight accommodations we have here uh, in the region. And it's also going to allow people to uh, uh, do other things in, uh, in southeast Ohio. The opportunity to bring more people in prompts the Wilds to help out its surrounding communities. We're looking at this as an opportunity for folks to stay and, and do things uh, in, in Zanesville, in, in Cumberland, uh, and in Appalachia as a whole. The Wilds hope to have the RV park completed within the next year or two. Road tripping in Muskingum County, I'm at Deoria for News 9.